Trees are good examples of recursive data structures. They are composed entirely of nodes which contain other nodes. Within the tree data structure, we call nodes with nodes inside of them parents, and the nodes they connect to children. The common ancestor is called the root of the tree, and any children without children are called leaf nodes. Finally, a subtree is a tree within a tree. That said, because of the recursive nature of this data structure, we cannot access its elements like a vector or array. Instead, we need to use a more unique method, like tree traversal. Now, there are of course many different ways to do this, the most obvious of which might be to fight recursion with recursion, with a method known as depth-first search. When performing a depth-first search, we first call our search function on the root node, and then all of its children nodes, and then all of their children nodes, which means we visit the nodes in the following order, going to the depths of the tree first, and then working our way through the other branches. Now let me show you something that blew my mind the first time I saw it. We can actually perform a depth-first search non-recursively by using a stack. Now, a stack works like how you would think a stack would work. You put items down, and when you want to take an item out, you go through them one at a time, starting with the last one you put in. So let's do it. Here's a binary tree numbered in the order you would expect from a depth-first search. First, we put the root node into the stack. Then we pop it and put in its two children nodes. We then pop the top car and put its two children in. We keep doing that over and over and over again until there are no cards left in the stack. And at that point, rather amazingly, the order of cards that we've removed from the stack will be correctly aligned. Now, so far, we've covered one method of searching. However, depth for a search is not always the best way to go through a tree. For example, what if you wanted to go through the nodes of a tree in this order? This is called a breadth first search and can be done simply by changing the stack from the depth first search into a queue, which is super cool. A queue is like a stack, except rather than the last element being pushed into it being the first element out, the queue is more fair and addresses the elements in the order in which they were put in. To put it simply, stack, last in, first out. Queue, first in, first out. So here we go again, except this time with the tree of cards ordered like in a breadth first search. We put the root in the queue, address it, and then put in its children. We put their children at the back of the line and address the next element. In the end, we see the correct order. So I think that's about it. The seed has been planted and now it's time for you guys to grow your own tree. Like last time, the chapter is up on the Arcane Algorithm Archive and it's awaiting language-specific implementations. I would be incredibly grateful if you could implement breadth-first and depth-first search in your favorite language and submit it to me via poll request, Twitter, or even in the comment section below. Finally, I'd like to thank the following individuals for submitting code to the Verlay integration chapter. Seriously, you guys rock. Anyway, that's all for now. Depth-first search and breadth-first search both have their uses in different algorithms, and there are, of course, many other tree traversal schemes which might be covered later. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.